Hello, my friends. We are still celebrating the Hispanic Heritage Month, a whole month. And I told you that already. Uh, celebrating Hispanics is food, gathering, family, uh, spicy food. And today I want to share with you a sweet and sour pork chops. Ooh, I have done it a thousand times. But the reason is I always keep my recipe with all the ingredients. I make sure they're here. If I don't have them here, I make sure the neighbor has them. Or then I go to the grocery, but I make sure I have all the ingredients in here. And then I follow the instructions. Yes, look at this pork chops. Ooh, delicious. Look at this, oink, oink, wow, it's cooked to perfection. I, I don't, actually, I don't um, uh, use too much heat. I want them, since they're so thick, I'd rather let them cook slowly so they will be fully cooked. Now, in the same oil, which I put very low, I'm gonna saute the onions until they become crystal clear. Oh, look at this little, oh, I love this. This will give such a big flavor. You cook the onions until they are clear. That means that they are ready. You know, I decide to cut these onions like in squares. Why? Because uh, to me, it gives you like a, some Asian look, Hispanic Asian look. Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. Now, we cook this for a few minutes. Once they're clear, I have some bell peppers. I cut them, cut them the same way. Let's put the peppers. I'm gonna let them cook for a little while. And one thing that I wanted to share with you, when we eat spicy foods, uh, when we eat a lot, when we eat sweets and so many different things, there is something I recommend tremendously. Thumbs. <laughs> right here. Thumbs anti-acids are number one recommended adult anti-acid brand by doctors, pharmacies, and OBGINs. Amazing. Yes, they're really good, especially when we eat so many different types of food. I'm talking about food. Let me let me check this out. Okay. Oh my God, they look so good. Now we have some pineapple. I say you can use pineapples. You can use frozen mangoes. Uh, I use pineapple. Why? Because it's so tropical. <laughs> we put like I will say like 13 ounces. I think I'm putting a little more. This is like a 20 ounce. And now this is when we start scraping the bottom of the pan. <laughs> I'm gonna put this a little higher because I had it in low. And we let it cook. Now, I have so many different things. I have, this is a bouillon, a, a chicken bouillon, that I, I use uh, the bouillon salad for seasoning. Uh, it's powerful, it's flavorful, I love it. So I dissolve it in a cup of water. Let's put this on. Whoop. Hey, 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 hey. This stay over here. I think I need the spoon. Yeah. I don't want to miss nothing. Great. You know what I'm going to put on? <laughs> ketchup. Why ketchup? Ketchup is tomato, but it's some sweet and I love it. Sometimes I use a uh, prepare um, tomato sauce that is spicy, but I'm, I'm using a spice that is spicy. So I'm going to make sure I, um, I don't want to use too much. I want to control the spice myself. What about brown sugar? <laughs> One tablespoon of brown sugar. Here we go. And vinegar. Why? This is sweet and sour. <laughs> Let's do the 
The vinegar, the big vinegar, I'm using rice vinegar. Um, I like the flavor. Whoop. Now what I'm gonna be do, what I'm gonna be doing so the, the sauce can be thick, and when I use uh, corn flour, uh, uh, I always let it cook. Why? I don't want it to have that flavor like it's like uncooked. So I'm gonna mix like a quarter um, of water and one tablespoon of flour. Yeah, let's, that was measured? Yes, <laughs> I knew. Now let's make a little paste. Wow. Let's see if this is boiling. Let it cook there for a little while. And then we're gonna add the, um, we're gonna, uh, the cornstarch. Uh, I dilute the cornstarch on the water. Now I'm using um, some chilies, spicy chili, because I want this to be spicy. Here they are. Can you see them? They are hot. Okay, you can find them in the supermarket, uh, uh, in bags. It, I always keep them in the house because it always gives like a great flavor to any dish. Let's do this. We're gonna put some to taste. Oh, talk, oh look at that sauce. Oh my God, it's amazing. Look at this. Oh, this is really good. Now that we're talking about spicy foods, I think it's very important. Uh, I want to talk to you about Nexium 24-hour acid reducer. It's terrible to have a heartburn. And uh, something like Nexium 24-hour acid reducer, it will help you tremendously to digest all this spicy food. Let me put back the, um, the chops. Well, let me tell you a little more about Nexium 24-hour acid reducer. It is the number one choice of doctors for their own frequent heartburn. When a doctor uses it, it has to be good. <laughs> well, I, I, it's just like the cooks that don't eat their own food. Are you kidding? Don't eat that. Let me move this and cover it with this delicious sauce. Now, if you wanted to put a little more uh, heat, you can do it, but actually you don't have to. Um, what I did before, I seasoned the pork chops with salt, with uh, pepper, and I put a little bit of garlic, uh, powdered garlic to give them flavor, especially they're so, th so thick. You're gonna eat it with the sauce, maybe with uh, a green uh, rice or something like that, but I, I like them to be seasoned so the, the pork can have some flavor. When we start eating all this kind of spicy, delicious food, the quantity and the seasoning, we have to do something about gas. And I would like to recommend Gas X Maximum Strength. It's amazing. Start working in minutes to provide uh, that bloating and uh, gas uh, relief, uh, rescue you from all those embarrassing moments and make you feel great. Let's finish this. Mm, these pork chops are amazing. I did this little green rice and of course we're gonna put the pork chops and this delicious sauce will make it incredibly good. Ooh, let me pour the sauce. Why go to a restaurant when you can do it at home? <laughs> now, let me say goodbye the same way I always do with this delicious pork chops.
and chef Irving, ha hi! Ah, selfing, ha hi!